Hi guys, this is Baska Berry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install local uh, Kafka new machines on a single node. Uh, so there are various ways to install the Kafka new machines. Uh, here I'm going to show you um, the two couple of two ways. The first two ways, open source as well as a commercial distribution one. Uh, this managed service is been uh, deployed uh, all the relevant Kafka prop uh, configurations in the cloud itself. It provides you those services using Confluent, Amazon, Ivan.io. Uh, so, uh, as part of this video, I'll be showing you first is uh, open source Apache Kafka where you can download those uh, zip files and run it on your machine. Uh, you can access through this link. Uh, so, I'll be um, sharing these links in the video description. And the second thing is a commercial distribution. This is owned by Confluent.io. Here we get the. Mm, mm, they'll we'll be able to use it in organizations where they provide us uh, support for uh, maintaining this Kafka while configuring or cluster management errors. They'll be handling so we can able to reach out to them if it is a paid one. If since we have uh, we are just for learning purpose, we are just downloading the community version. So. Uh, you need to be setting up all those configurations here. Uh, Apache Kafka and the Confluent, that's a difference between them. So Apache Kafka, everything you, you guys need to be handled. In any organizations, if they are using this, they should have a good uh, team where they can handle the configurations, errors, cluster managements, all those things should be taken care of by them. If you are using the commercial distributions, we have a s uh, they'll be having a separate team where you can uh, support, they'll support you with the errors which you are facing there. And manage services. These are like cloud one. Okay, so let's start with uh, downloading them. So this Apache Kafka. This is the open source one, the first one which I showed you. So here is a zip file. We can load the mm, version. We can download this. So I'm trying to download this. Okay, so it's going to take some time for me. So similarly uh, for the the other versions we can take, we can download it from the confluent.io. So, if you scroll down, we get the uh, free versions for the software. So, you can download. You can just give some. can take a zip file just download it for free okay the first thing I think the um, the open source has been downloaded so let me show you the example there so I'm just going to extract So you can see this folder here. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this into my C drive software folder. Okay. So in this, we have the uh, if we move to the bin folder, we have the Linux commands as well as uh, shell scripts as well as Windows compatible uh, commands, the batch files we have here. Uh, so let me show you the steps. Open the command prompt at this path and the first thing is I will start the zookeeper um, so just to give a small introduction on the zookeeper a zookeeper might be deprecated in the newer versions but as of now it still is there so this zookeeper handles the brokers as well as the maintains the configurations of the topics uh, those cluster details everything will be handled by the zookeeper basically it is like um, configuration tool as of now just remember it as a, a configuration manager zookeeper and there is uh, properties for zookeeper so it will be there in the um, configs so we have it here zookeeper dot properties let me open it and show you 
so we have this the default port as 2181 sorry okay this I have given to move to the up, uh, folders up because we are we were there in the zookeeper dot uh, folder so here we can give the path of this it is there in the config slash zookeeper dot properties the same name So we can see that it is binded to the port 2181 by default. So similarly, we'll be starting the um, Kafka server. Just type uh, command to open that path. And here we are going to show you the Similarly, we have a server dot properties in this. So, if you go to the config as well as here, we have the server dot properties. So, these are the some basic uh, default properties that it has. So, it is binded to the Zookeeper, which has the uh, 2181, and it is running in the other tab. Uh, so it will be so this is this broker will be having the informations in the, in the zookeeper prop part so here I'll just start the Kafka server oh sorry uh, I think I've uh, forgot to give the path here it's inside the config folder so you can see that it has started with the zookeeper the 2181 binded to that so this is one way for open source uh, Apache Kafka for that community additions then we will see the next one so I'll just uh, close this and for the community additions uh, Confluent one I've downloaded from the Confluent and it is finished downloading so I'm going to extract it here this is the second way so it has extracted here so if you see this uh, these both have the similar folder structures the open source and this one but here you have the uh, uh, more uh, functionalities in this so let me copy this into my software folder in the C drive so you can just compare these folders uh, it will be the, the structure will be same itself see more or less it the things are same here and uh, for open source as well as confluent community edition okay so let me start the community uh, confluent and show you how the operand. so similarly here also we have the uh, shell scripts and we have the windows batch file supporting so we'll open this command prompt here let me open the two windows one for starting the zookeeper and other for uh, running Kafka so let's let's um, start the zookeeper so here we have uh, Kafka. the folder structure is slightly different in the confluent so we have in inside uh, um, we have it inside etc Kafka slash we have zookeeper properties here so 
so if you get this error there's a solution for this so if you're seeing this error there's some uh, issue in the um, class path file so let's fix that so the fix is um, go to the um, kafka run class bat file and add this code a piece of code there so let me go there we have uh, kafka run class this one open so you can um, save above this class path addition for core you can copy these lines here okay as in this lens now save the file and again run it get it started okay and this is bind to 2181 port so similarly we'll start the kafka server as well to see if everything is working fine so we need to go to confluent etc etc slash kafka slash we'll be having the server dot properties here as well okay Okay, so this is also able to run properly without any issues. Okay, started with the broker ID as zero. So this is the second way of installing the uh, using the Kafka here. So I'll be showing you the next uh, in the next videos. I'll be showing the different part, uh, different ways how to use in your applications this Kafka, and uh, more information about Kafka as well. Okay, thank you. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel.